Hi guys and welcome to my latest video. You, some of you may have seen uh, these pretty uh, boxes I received at Christmas with uh, some pencils in, coloured pencils. They were made by my mother-in-law. Uh, I received some coloured pencils from my uh, in-laws, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, so thanks to them again for those. And these are the lovely packages that my mother-in-law made to put them in for Christmas. I almost feel sad throwing them away to be honest. I might still keep them and use them for something. But anyway, uh, this is the first set of pencils that I received. And these are Faber-Castell or Faber-Castell, however you want to say, Polychromos. And I just thought I'd show you uh, the different colours and numbers that I received. So you can look at them yourself and maybe get them yourself. Uh, this is number 113. Uh, this is Orange Glaze. This is a bit different to the other oranges that I've got in the series. So uh, these are all pencils that I sort of requested. You know, people ask me if I did have coloured pencils, which ones would they be? So I'll write a little list. Uh, this is 187 Burnt Okra, which I've used in the past. You can use that for flesh tones and different browns and animal fur and stuff like that. Um, this one is uh, 193 Burnt Carmine. No, I hadn't got this one, so this is the reason it was on my list. Sorry for the changing light there, but I'll put my uh, daylight lamp on to make it a bit brighter. I'm not sure if it makes it better or not, but it's supposed to. That one was 140, light ultramarine. Uh, I use that one for skies and stuff. And this is 180 raw umber. That's uh, one of my go-to pencils when I'm using browns or animal fur. This one is uh, 232, gold, uh, cold grey, sorry, 3. And this is 272 Warm Grey 3. Uh, sorry, I'd, I'd just washed my hands and I've got a bit of uh, water on the table. So now I wasn't dribbling or it's not any mucus or anything or unfriendly thing. Uh, these next three pencils I specifically uh, wanted. Uh, it's 252 Copper, 251 Silver and 250 Gold. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to get these, the copper, the silver and gold, just to see what they were like. And uh, I may do a drawing just with those three colours. Or maybe those three colours and black. I'll have to wait and see to see what I can do, see what I'll come up with. But yeah, that's the uh, the first little set I received for now. I'll put them to one side. And open up the second pack. Gosh, I love uh, coloured pencils. I feel like a kid in a sweet shop. It makes me so happy. Yeah, this is the second little set. Um, the first one is going to be uh, 177 uh, Walnut Brown. Just wait while I faff around a little bit. Yeah, and this is uh, another different brown that I wanted to add to the dark browns that I've got. Because there's so many browns in uh, Polychrome Moss. But that's one of the ones I wanted. This is 183 Light Yellow Okra. I've used that one before, that's quite a nice uh, yellow. And this is the one I, this one I wanted, 192 Indian Red, because it's the only red I hadn't got in the set. Uh, this is 280 Burnt Umbar, I've used that quite a lot. You can use that for darks on your flesh and uh, your backgrounds and stuff. Uh, this is 110 and this is Thalau Blue, and that's a lovely blue. I don't know if you can get the loveliness of that blue on the camera, but it's a really nice blue, that is really uh, dark. And this is the lighter version of it, 145, and that was light thalo blue. This one is 255 Cold Grey 6. Use that one a lot in uh, my drawings, especially superhero stuff and that for shadows and shading. And that, of course, is 199, and that's your standard black, which, yeah, I can always do with whites and blacks. Uh, you can never be without those. Uh, this next set is the what they call the Rolls Royce of pencils, and I totally agree. This is the Caran Dash, they're my favourite pencil by far. I love them. Don't get me wrong, I like the Polychromos as well. They're great. I like the fact that they've got the sealed end as well at the end of the pencil. But these are just something else. The Caran Dash, I just love the way they're made. I love the way they feel. And this one is called Anthraquinoid Pink. I just love the name. That's five seven one anthraquinoid pink. And got that got that one. I wanted to try that within my flesh stuff when I'm drawing flesh. This one is burnt sienna, uh, fifty percent eight six six. Also, I'm going to use that with my flesh colours. And this is eight six two burnt sienna, ten percent. 
Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, what's the difference? You know, not that much difference between 10% and 50, but look at the difference in colour. There's quite a big difference in it. Also, when it goes down on paper as well, uh, that's the 10% on the right and the 50% on the left. So there is quite a difference. But yeah, I want to try them with my flesh tones, as I do with this one, 832 Burnt Alcra 10%, and 732 uh, Olive Brown 10%. And this is 661 light cobalt blue that's a really nice one for doing really light skies and sky blues and stuff i use that in conjunction with the silver gray which i'll get to in a minute uh this is raw umber 50 percent 846 silver gray which is what i was talking about uh 002 that goes nicely with a cobalt light cobalt blue gosh my hands yeah sorry about the hands the old man hands because you realise you're getting old when you see your knuckles, all that working in warehouses. Old man hands, young man hands, old man hands, young man hands, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, this is double R1 white. Yeah, before I worked with the children, I worked in warehouses for many years and my knuckles are absolutely shot. This is light aubergine 095 and uh, again, just one of those colours that I hadn't got and I really wanted that one. This is your standard black again, double R9. You can never be without your blacks and your whites. Uh, this is 836 burnt alcra 50%. Uh, we saw the burnt alcra 10% earlier. Uh, this is 069 burnt sienna, and that's to complement the burnt sienna 10% and 50%. And finally, that's your raw umber 10%. So that's a lovely little collection of Karen Dash there. I love those. And um, yeah, I, like I said, I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. I absolutely love my coloured pencils. I'm starting to get more used to them now and I want to do a lot of practicing with them early this year and I want to sort of uh, practice my flesh tones so I can start doing portraits in colour. That's one thing that I really want to do this year. But what a lovely little pencil haul for Christmas there. Huh? Uh, yeah, I was really pleased with them. So thanks to my wife and my in-laws for those. Uh, much appreciated. I also, my wife also got me these two Posca pens as well. A few of you have probably seen me using the Posca white liner. Well, this is a red and a yellow one that I wanted. Uh, you can't tell from the tip there, it's white. I haven't used it yet. But uh, it's the same tip as the, the larger white one that I've got. And uh, I want to use these for highlights if I need a yellow highlight or a red highlight if I'm drawing fire or a reflection from fire or from heat. Uh, there's the white one, the same tip as the yellow and red. And that's the smaller white one that I use as well. So, yeah. Um, all in all, I'm really pleased with the pencils that I got and the pens. Uh, also, I've got some ink pens as well. Um, as I said earlier, it's a shame to throw these away, so I might find a use for them, or I might just keep something in there art-related, or just keep them in there. She makes loads of little things. She makes lots of her own cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards. And at Christmas, she also uh, made me a little bookmark because I do a lot of reading, and she knows I do a lot of reading. She made me a really cute bookmark. I might show you that in a future video. But here's the home of my Karen Dash. That's my little Karen Dash box. And uh, again, kid in a sweet shop. Absolutely love it. Uh, makes me so happy. Can't tell you how happy it makes me. And for my Polychromos, I use this rather pretty box. Uh, it's getting quite old now, but I uh, still like it. And I've just turned it to the side so they've gone everywhere. Yep. Uh, but this is, yeah, this is the box I keep my Polychromos in. And as you can see, I'm building up a nice little collection of Polychromos now. Um, yeah, I suppose I should keep them a little safer, really. But it's, I, I like them in this box. And they don't bang around too much because I don't move it that often. But yeah, that's my little pencil collection. So thanks for joining me on this video. Thanks to all my subscribers. Job done. And I will see you all soon. Happy New Year, everyone. ta -ra.